Welcome back folks, I'm Frizz and today I'd like to take some time to talk about what books I would like to see in the future of the Lost Omens book line. In case you didn't know, the Lost Omens line is a line of books that Paizo puts out related to the Lost Omens setting in particular, and I'd like to talk about what I would like to see in these books in particular in parts of Galarian and the Great Beyond that I think deserve the focus. If you are not all that familiar with the locations that I'm talking about, then hey, you can just look them up and maybe include them into your games, or, and I, I know that there are a lot of people that don't play in Galarian or the Lost Omen setting, but every single book, especially and really including the Lost Omens books, can be used if you're homebrewing your setting. Because let's be real here, stealing other people's ideas and then incorporating them into your own work is a long and treasured tradition of all fantasy writers. So let's just get into it. All right, so to start off with, I would like to see more books on the Outer Plains, or really just one book, but eh, I'd, I'd appreciate multiple. While we do have a lot of lore that is left over from Pathfinder 1st Edition that does still work, I would like to see what Paizo would do with, I don't know, rules on making demi planes or just tons of different planar locations that were introduced and then never really touched again. I just like the Outer Plains as a concept and I would like to see more of it. In particular, I also would like to see a adventure path or high level adventure path, so levels 11 to 20 like Fist of the Ruby Phoenix that is focused around traveling between a bunch of different planes because let's be real here, you don't do that all that much, especially not as a theme for an overall campaign. Now I'd just like to see what Paizo does with that. Moving back to the Material Plane, there are tons of places that I really do think need a little bit of love. In particular, I would like to see more information on Thuvia. Thuvia is a nation on the northern coast of Karund that almost exclusively exports an elixir that can stop aging. It's pretty much the only thing that we really know for certain about the entire nation, and I'd like to see more of that. There's not enough love really for desert settings currently in 2e, and i just like to see more of it. Really, I would also like to see it more about its next door neighbor, Rahadum, which is a nation where worship of any deity is not allowed. I like desert settings and I'd like to see more of them, and these are two locations that have a lot of possibilities for just cool stuff, and I like cool stuff. Next up, another big section of Galarian that I desperately want to see more of is Iblidos, which I probably mispronounced. Iblidos is a coastal collection of city-states that is on an archipelago off of the coast of Kazmaran, and it is a very thinly veiled stand-in for ancient Greece in the setting, and I'm interested to see what exactly differentiates Iblidos from actual mythological ancient Greece. See, pretty much every like classic Greek monster in Pathfinder 2e, on Galarian, it originates from Iblidos. There are actual god kings who run city-states that give divine spellcasting to their followers. They have ties to an ancient Cyclops empire that is very important for the lore, but we haven't really seen all that much of, and I would just love to see more of it there. There's so, so much cool stuff going on around Iblidos, and I just want to see more of it. In particular, I would love to see a full, like, first level to 20th level AP set exclusively within Iblidos, because, yeah, there are ways for people to practically become gods in Iblidos, and I would love to actually see a incredibly rare subsystem included in that adventure path for basically the mythic system from Pathfinder 1e, because... I want even more over-the-top high-level play, and Iblidos seems like exactly the place for it, because the line between mortal and divine is incredibly thin there. And what can I say? I just had a Greek mythology phase whenever I was a kid, like half of my generation, and I would just like to see more of a campaign setting that fits that exact theme. Finally, I would like to see Arcadia get the Mwangi Expanse treatment. That be a very, very long book going into great detail about the unique cultures and traditions of a section of Galarian that is originally created based on a lot of stereotypes. Not any, I'm not like calling out Paizo for that. Whenever you're creating an entire 
low, but you're probably going to rely on some, but Arcadia really is deserving of a bit of a closer look. As it is currently, Arcadia is loosely based on the Americas before European colonization, and unfortunately that has opened up the door to a lot of negative stereotypes, but it also opens up the door to an insane amount of incredibly cool ideas, because let's be real here, Native American civilizations were incredibly rad. If you know anything about them, they were very cool. Paizo did an incredible job representing the Mwangi Expanse well and really fleshing out the region and making it more than just a negative stereotype, and I would love to see a book really diving into Arcadia as a whole. It would be really hard to cover the whole continent, as it is generally believed to be the largest landmass on the entire damn planet, but it does deserve attention. The culture of native people from around the Earth are truly, truly fascinating and interesting and, you know, varied like they were people and it never gets the attention and respect that they deserve in fantasy especially. So I would love to see what Paizo does with Arcadia. Considering how well they handled the Mwangi Expanse, I'm hopeful for that. Thanks for watching. As you can most likely tell, I like Galarian and the Lost Omen setting a lot. I'm not the biggest lore aficionado out there, but Galarian manages to be a fascinating world with a ton of detail, despite managing to contain literally every single type of fantasy story within it, and I love it for that. Glurian can play with almost any trope or story structure, and I can't wait to see what Paizo has in store for us next. What do you actually, or what are you looking forward to about the Lost Omens? Books or adventure paths, or what do you want to see next? Regardless of that though, until I see you next, live a wonderful life.